All right, so we told you we had a very special guest this hour. Yeah. We've got yeah. Mayor Muriel yeah. Bowser joining us this morning. Obviously, the folks are really excited. Yeah. Thank you. We were showing the top five must stops. You know better than anyone. That's just the tip of the iceberg here. D.C., my goodness. I mean, talk about it being open. D.C. is open. It. And you feel it? I was walking downtown. I see tourists. I see people yeah. going to restaurants, people going to work, people getting on the train. Uh, so it's amazing. And then we have this huge festival uh, starting today at 2 o'clock. Something in the water. Something in the water. <laughs> and that, I know a lot of folks are excited for that. About 40,000 people are expected to come down. And that's just one of many ma major events that we've seen yeah. in the district. Marissa, we've got some other stuff. I'm too. trying to see how you're going to fit it all in. I Mary. know. That's, that's quite a lot. <laughs> right. That's quite a lot. Talk to us, too, about your 202 for Peace campaign. Absolutely. Just Absolutely. Announced. So we were, we were in Anacostia about two weeks ago talking about summer programming, announcing more grants that we're putting out in the community. So people who are working with young people, keeping them engaged over the summer, the district wants to be their partner. Uh, so we announced $5,000, $25,000 grants to go out to the community. Uh, but one of the best things we talked about was 202 for Peace. You'll see people in orange shirts, literally walking down the street, uh, encouraging young people, encouraging grandparents, encouraging neighbors to come together and speak in one loud voice. We want to raise and lift up the kids and put guns down. You know, there's a lot of you know this. A lot of people want to move to D.C. There's a lot to, yeah. to want to see and, and uh, check out. D.C. Black Home Ownership. Yep. We know that that's an effort that your uh, your administration has really been behind. What that's, yep. What's that about? Well, I'll tell you. One big anxiety that people have. They love D.C. They want to move here. They want to send their kids to our schools, our great camps, our great parks. But it creates a lot of pressure on our housing costs. Mm -hmm. uh, and especially during the pandemic, we saw real pressures on our housing costs. Uh, so we want to equalize in our city uh, home ownership rates between black Washingtonians and white Washingtonians. And only about a third of black Washingtonians, a little more, uh, own their homes where more than 50% of white Washingtonians do. Um, so we know that's how people create wealth. That's my story. I bought a house for $125,000 in a great neighborhood. I lived in it for 16 years, and it has allowed me to do so much, uh, and it's going to allow me to do big things for my daughter. Uh, and so we want more people to be able to have that opportunity. So our strike force will meet all summer. Uh, we seeded it with a $10 million start uh, and we're going to see at the end of the summer what programs are going to be best to get people and help people to buy homes right here in Washington DC uh, and we're going to set a big goal uh, we don't know what it is yet but at the end of the summer we'll announce the goal a 2030 goal to get more black people in Washington buy homes yeah, yeah I love that sounds great as we talk about DC being open it yeah. is the summer you also want parents to make sure that their children are vaccinated going into the next school thank year. you yeah. uh, that is important Important. And now's the time to make the appointments, okay? School starts in August. You don't want to wait till August to get your vaccinations. So make your appointment. Uh, we know adults and kids got separated from their doctors during COVID. Uh, so we want our women to get their well women checks. We want our men to get their checks. We want everybody to get colonoscopies. Nobody wants to talk about it, but if you've been separated from your doctor, you've missed a lot of prevention. But kids haven't gotten their regular vaccines. I'm not talking about COVID. I'm talking about mumps, measles, rubella. You got to have it to go to school. So make your appointment now and get vaccinated. And everybody should call their pediatricians because next week we believe that the COVID vaccine for kids under five will be approved. Real quick, Mayor, I have to get you on this. Some people are getting up with a little heavy hearts uh, this morning because we did, we weren't selected as oh, one of the whole city. Yeah. You know, what's your message to the people? Because we still have it going on. We still have it going on. And we're still a soccer town, okay? Oh. Uh, we built a stadium here for DC United. Uh, we built fields across our city for our boys and girls to play soccer and our girls are doing it on the soccer field. We have a professional women's soccer team um, that plays at the Audi field. So we're all about soccer and we're going to keep going. But it does, it does tell us why we need our own stadium. Mm.
not just for football. We need our own stadium to be among the cities for world-class sport. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Uh, so we'll we'll keep working on that. But we also know we'll we'll keep working with FIFA about fan events uh, that can happen on the National Mall, which you know really is the best part of like <laughs> bringing people to Washington, yeah. uh, having the fan events right here in D.C. on the National Mall for our nation's 250th birthday. So we'll keep working on that. All right. See, with, with D.C. we take Take the owl, but then we keep it moving and we make it bigger and better. Half on this one. Yes, that's it. We'll get over it and we'll make it bigger and better. Uh, DC Mayor Muriel Bowser joining us. Thank you. Oh, what a great interview. Good to see them out there enjoying the zip trip and talking with the mayor about the exciting weekend and everything going on. Interesting mm -hmm. about the uh, stadium yeah. portion. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, she made some, a big push. Some news from the mayor. Yeah. Yep.